Hey, what's up, Rizzo here, and this is Fallout 3, very hard difficulty walkthrough. Uh, that's my current location on the map. We're going to be starting a quest called Oasis. Uh, now, before you go in there, um, a good idea is to pick up the, uh, the location first. You can fast travel back here. Go back to whatever house uh, you have, if you have one, and pick up uh, whatever your favorite Mirelurk killing weapons are. Uh, shotguns. Uh, explosives, whatever it is you like to use, bring those because there's going to be a bunch of Mirelurks to kill in this uh, quest. Um, so the rest of this first part is just a bunch of talking and there's nothing going on. So um, feel free to follow along, but if you're into the quest and you've made it uh, past the ceremony, um, go ahead and skip to part two and I'll see you there. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. Revel, outsider, for he has chosen you. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. That's his power you feel, outsider. With his outstretched limbs, he shelters us and keeps us safe. He is the one who grows, he is the one who gives, and he is the one who guides. No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Yes, my apologies. I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. I'm afraid not. No one gets to see him without first drinking the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. Other than that, there's nothing more to the ceremony. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. What do you need? May the great... We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you and diminishing from day to day, you may disappear. 
except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his redoom. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand.